Join it. To figure out how we might join our brains with machines, Kevin's lab is conducting an unusual experiment. Taking live brain cells from a rat and embedding electrodes in them. And when we've got about 100,000 of these neurons linking, communicating together, we're connecting it up to a robot body. That's right. Kevin Warwick is using the living brain tissue of a rat to drive a robot. That brain is the sole controller for the robot body. We don't have a computer in there that's doing some little things and changing the signals. Sensors on the robot can detect the walls, and through a wireless connection, it sends that information to the sliver of rat brain. The brain then actually tells it to turn left or right to avoid the wall. And the output from the brain, which we can pick up as electrical signals on different electrodes, drives the wheels of the robot. To let the rat brain know when it's successful, Kevin stimulates it with a little extra voltage as a reward. Brain cells like being stimulated. It's a bit like giving a child an ice cream, but you can't be sure the child's going to do exactly what you want it to do. And the same is true with the biological brain. Kevin Warwick isn't just creating a brain-controlled robot for fun. He sees it as a necessary first step toward the eventual merger between man and machine.